Morning guys. Whew, it's a hot day yesterday. Uh, it's supposed to be hot today and there's still lots of fire warnings out there so be careful and um, concerns for all my friends that are firefighting um, and um, people whose places are affected by the fires. Now today is Mates for Mates Day. Now if you donate to Mates for Mates which is an organisation that helps um, return service people um, when they get you know get back and they get out of the military or before or after then um, helps them sort of acclimatize and deal with whatever they've seen or the trauma um, all that sort of stuff and today if you donate today um, that donation will be tripled by some of the corporate sponsors so basically if you donate a dollar um, the corporate sponsors will like put two dollars in or I think three dollars something like that but um, they will more than match what's donated today so mates for mates I think it's matesformates.org.au anyway you can google it and uh, when I get time I'll put the uh, link down below mates for mates um, it's a good good um, cause and I keep saying um a lot really got to work on that but on giving as well um, giving money it's pretty easy and we can all do that it doesn't take very long to do that um, and I do do that I give money to seeing eye dogs of Australia and mates for mates I don't always just give money but I do things like buy entertainment book and that supports them and all that sort of stuff also what is most important usually is when people actually take the time with a lot of not just charities but with people taking time it's one of the more valuable things that you can give and very few people are willing to do that a lot of people take time to go to like say celebrity or charity events and all that sort of stuff and and raise money like that that's cool that's raising money that's giving some time but actually taking time to to work with the people see them talk to them um, do all that it, it's not many people do that I suppose despite a lot of things that I don't like about say Angelina Jolly she's actually gone out and taken time to go do deliveries of food out to unlike South Africa and war-torn places and she was a part of the peace one day where they had a ceasefire in in the Middle East in South Africa for like a, a, head, a whole day one day no no shots fired no nothing so they could deliver um, badly needed medical supplies to the areas that needed it you know because people were you know dying and needed help and all that sort of stuff so they actually got on with that which is really awesome um, places like even though I share things like planting 20 million trees um, with Arbor Day also just volunteering one day to plant a few trees is also a good thing or or even looking after them things like that I mean I do find it hard to make a lot of time for these things and so I do whatever I can say like you know go to Lifeline book fair support that um, help people um, in co-ops and all that I mean it is money um, sometimes some inconvenience um, but I try and that is important to try and, and spend some time doing things it's not just actual official charity organizations but also the people around you friends family taking time out to go visit them and say hi um, because I think that's probably not a lot of what people do these days actually going to somebody's place and visiting them not just going out social and being seen to be seen you know and there's a lot that goes on behind closed doors so to speak not all of it's bad a lot of it's good seeing people um, visiting their homes seeing how they're doing having a chat I don't think that there's much of that these days like you know face to face not just FaceTime on, on the internet and all that sort of stuff, but actual face-to-face, -face, in person. Things can get a little awkward, a little uneasy, and not as flowy, I guess, in, in speech because you're actually fronting out with an actual real human being, you know. But anyways, today's... When was the last time you took time out for a charity or for a person or some friend and went and visited them? You know, um, what did that feel like? Why, why didn't you? Why or why haven't you 
gone and seen somebody or taken your time to actually do things like some people that go to the soup kitchens and all that sort of stuff and do you want to um, and even if you want to and you don't have the actual time are there other ways that you can contribute you know use some of your time to contribute to that you know there's some things that I'm looking at and a lot of things that I've seen have become really commercial in my local community and I'm like it's it's gone so far so quickly from what originally it was supposed to be it was supposed to be a community community thing that's going on and then it's become really heavily commercial and all about the money all about the fame the glory the money so uh, it'll probably take a lot of time <laughs> in between and, and probably be one of those things where you go okay you know what guys come over do this thing we're, we're going to do this and it's not going to be for the money it's going to be for the love uh, which means it'll be thankless <laughs> but you know what for those that take part I'm sure it'll make a difference it'll make their eyes open up it'll make things just a little better for them I'm hoping and um, yeah so today mates for mates uh, jump on the website google them mates mates for like the number four uh, mates and see if you can donate some money, if like a you know, dollar or two dollars or something like that, because the corporate sponsors will actually match the more than match the donations, so the donations will effectively be tripled today. So jump on that. Okay, Thursday, and I'll need to get going. A little bit late this morning, doing a bit of pottering around. See you guys. <laughs>